back to my channel. Today I have a monthly main message for all of the Aries out in the collective. Please note this is going to be a general reading, so it is not going to resonate with every single Aries out in the collective. I ask that you take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Eileen Into Spirit. My name is Eileen Rouse. I am a psychic intuitive, a spiritual coach, and a sound healing practitioner. So without further ado, Aries, let's go ahead and dive into your monthly message. So Aries, we are starting out with Higher Power, Volcano Voltality, and Pallades Energy. So this is sort of channeling and um, a high frequency type of energy. So Aries, right off the bat this month, we are really still stepping in with some high frequency energy. So this higher power is really about listening to that higher guidance, listening to that intuitive information that's sort of coming through. And it's really utilizing your third eye to create a vision, to create better foundations within your actions, the things that you're doing on a daily basis. The one thing I want to focus on is the heart of your reading here, which is Volcano and Votality. And so I'm kind of picking up two different messages here. Number one is Aries is known to have a very fierce temper. So the first thing that's coming up for me here is that you need to be very aware of the things that sort of set you off here, Aries. Understand that you are very passionate. You have a lot of ideas and a lot of inspirations and a lot of action that you want to actually partake in, that you want to start putting steps towards achieving certain specific tasks or goals this month. But it's going to be very important that you don't allow any setbacks or anything that sort of prevents you from completing those tasks to set you off. It's kind of like the thing I'm getting is, is the temper, right? So sometimes you can allow your, your outside situations or circumstances to truly manipulate your emotions and control you. And you're needing to basically find balance in that. I feel that the other thing is that in doing so, I feel that you will have a better understanding of how to control your emotions, control your outburst, those kinds of things. Because honest and truthfully, I feel that ultimately you just sort of... It's, it's like you have a lot of, of outbursts that really aren't necessary. It's almost like you need to find the balance in that. You need to sort of allow yourself to just be, what's the word? It's, it's almost like understanding that when that stuff comes up, you have to give yourself permission to allow things to be what they are. Allowing your temper to sort of take control isn't going to ultimately give you the answers that you are seeking. If anything, it prevents you from tuning in to that higher aspect to get that divine guidance. And understand that you need this higher power in order to truly help you continue uplifting humanity and taking charge with your mission, okay? So the Pallades energy is a very high frequency um, light energy that is really about uplifting humanity. You're here to create balance and harmony in humanity. And that could be in just what you do. It could be in your career. It could be something that you do on the side. Whatever it is, you're needing to find the balance and understand that, you know, with the higher power here, they're really wanting you to to think about things intellectually and utilize your intuition versus allowing your emotions to sort of take control. Understand that, you know, change happens, things happen, things occur. We don't always understand it in the moment when it occurs, 
but we have to sort of trust the process. So let's go ahead and dive into the tarot here, Aries. I think ultimately the biggest key is you learning to trust the process because the process is, you know, maybe your guides and your angels see something further down the line that you actually don't see, right? And maybe whatever is transpiring right now is transpiring because it's, a, it's preventing something that's coming later on. So yeah, so here, right away with the Eight of Wands and the King of Wands, this is fast energy. The Eight of Wands is really about fast communication. And when you're really tuned into your higher, higher self, when you're really tuned into your guides and your angels here, Aries, you're going to get that fast uh, communication. You're going to get the answers. You're going to get the guidance that you're wanting, that you're needing, um, or that you want. And But here's the thing. Don't be arrogant. Don't, again, because one of the things I'm seeing here with, especially with the Voltality and the Volcano, is that the King of Wands can often be um, very arrogant in the way that they think and the actions that they take. You're needing to really see all sides, and really take charge. And you have to take charge in finding the balance between your intellect and your emotions, okay? Um, we now have the page of wands here at the center of your reading, which is the heart of your reading. And it's really about exploring new adventures, exploring new ideas, exploring new inspirations, allowing yourself to start something new. Understand that, you know, maybe a lot of times you allow your emotions to get the best of you. And so spirit's really saying why, since you already know what is going to transpire when your emotions take over, right? Cause maybe you're the type of person who actually emotionally makes decisions. Um, or you make decisions based off of how you're feeling like your emotions, right? But if you already know the outcome of what transpires when you do that, right? Whether it's regret, you end up making regrets because you're like, man, I was so impulsive. I didn't really think this through. Then spirit's really saying, why not try something different? Why not experience something different by being emotionally balanced? Okay. And understand that the amount of energy that you put into things is the amount of energy that you're going to get in return. So it's really important Aries here that you really be very aware of how you respond to any given situation this month. I think that ultimately what it's really wanting you to understand is that your emotions control you versus you controlling your emotions. And it's the reason why you're experiencing what you're experiencing because you haven't really grasped the concept or understood the lesson behind each and everything. And understand that once you find that balance, once you understand that, you know, the amount of emotional intensity or energy that you put into something, it's the same amount that you're going to get in return. You'll start to see things so much clearer here with the Ace of Wands. You'll start to have that better sense of understanding of why things transpired the way that they did or why things were so out of balance or out of whack. Um, it's really about you needing to go with the flow here, Aries. You're needing to learn to trust your instincts, listen to your higher aspect, listen to your angels and your guides, and really allow yourself to be in a state of discomfort or really try to see it from the bigger picture. Because I think what happens is that, you know, if things don't work out the way that you wanted them to, or maybe, you know, you weren't able to accomplish a specific task or accomplish a specific goal and you get very irritated, you get very frustrated, and then things sort of start to slowly start to fall apart, right? And a lot of that is because it's the energy that you're putting into it. You're not recognizing that you are in control of that energy, and that energy is based off of your emotion, okay? So this is what you're needing to truly see. You're needing to see and, and understand that when you resist 
change, when you resist something that doesn't go according to plan, then you have to ask yourself, what's the lesson here? What, what am I, what am I really needing to learn? Because the resistance is simply you, um, trying to control the situation or trying to, uh, get things in the way that you perceive them to be. And spirit saying, no, 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 you're not in control here. We are right. I think you have a lot of will and you have a lot of desire to succeed here, Aries. And there's nothing wrong with that. But understand that you have to take control. You have to ultimately be willing to see, you know, your flaws in this situation. You have to be willing to stand in your power and own your responsibility um, of your actions, right? Because even non-action is still taking action. And so I really feel that what, what I'm seeing here is that as you go through this month, Aries, it's going to be very important that you really take control and, you know, put your hands on the steering wheel of your own emotions, be willing to go deep, and be willing to stand in your power and own up to your mistakes. Um, be willing to say, you know, I'm not perfect, but I am, you know, this is probably a setback. It's not, you know, I'm not going to be able to accomplish what I wanted to accomplish this month, but I'm still making progress. The nine of wands here really speaks about understanding all of the hard work that you've put into it, but not you know, uh, not really seeing it, it from a very limited perspective. Okay. You need to broaden your perspective and, and that's ultimately what spirit is really wanting you to do. It's wanting you to broaden your perspective, to see, to understand, to see beyond what is currently going on. And I feel that it, this, again, it's really speaking to this higher power here, Aries, where it's really wanting you to tune into your higher self, really ask your gut, your instincts, you know, tuning into your intuition is ultimately going to give you the answers that you are seeking. It's going to provide you with the clarity that you have been wanting, and it will thus help you create a better foundation going forward for your future. And you'll find the peace and the balance in that because I feel right now all you're doing is resisting anything that is occurring that isn't according to your plan. And that is what is causing all of this chaos because you're looking at it from the perspective of there is just so, I have so many responsibilities. I'm carrying all of this weight. I'm not getting the help or the guidance that I need. But then again, you're not willing to part with it either, Pis uh, Aries. You're not willing to let go of control. You're trying to say, this is what I want. And you're giving, you know, your guides and your angels bits and pieces of it. But at the same time, you're, you're, you're saying, okay, I want your help, but you're not willing to hand over the keys. So Aries, this is your message this month. Um, understand that you need to trust your instincts. You need to really trust your spirit team, allow them to guide you, to give you the insight that you need to see beyond the current situation or circumstances that you're in this month. And, you know, stop resisting any change, stop resisting what comes, allow it to be what it is. And, ask yourself, what is this trying to teach me? What do I, what am I not getting? What do I need to learn? So Aries, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. And I look forward to seeing you next time with your new message. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.